All right, and welcome to Solving Basic Equations, Level 5. Now, in Example 1, we have 3x minus 7 equals 15. And I want you to notice that here we see our multiplication, because the 3 and the x are beside each other, and we see subtraction. So if you were to ask, well, in what order do I get rid of these things, I would say that's an excellent question. So I want you all to think of your order of operations. You've all seen this before. You've seen this phrase, PEMDAS. And I would like for you to pause the video right now and see if you can remember each one of these words. Pause it. I'll give you about a couple seconds. And as you're thinking through, you probably remembered, hey, the P stands for parentheses, the E stands for exponent, the M stands for multiplication, the D stands for division, the A stands for addition, and the S stands for subtraction. And so what we want to do is we always want to draw this and we want to say, okay, well, what things do we see? We see the 3x, which really means 3 times x, so I'll put a star by my m for multiplication. And I see the minus 7, so I know I have some subtraction. And here's the other important thing about algebra. Not only are you doing the opposite operation, you're also doing things in the opposite order. So I like to draw an arrow going up to remind myself that I actually have to start at the bottom of PEMDAS. So, if you draw this little mnemonic, if you draw PEMDAS with an arrow going up, and you put a star by the uh, operations that you see, you will be able to solve equations very fluently. And so, let's say, okay, starting from the bottom, going to the top, what's the first thing that I see? And it's this subtraction. So I want to get rid of subtraction. What is the opposite of subtraction? And we know that that is plus 7. Okay, and remember, when I have a negative and a positive of the same number, and I'm combining them, I've just created a zero pair. And so, all right, so we have 3x is equal to 15 plus 7, which is, of course, 22. Now, from here, I continue on up my arrow, up, 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 until I hit my multiplication. It's the next thing we have a star by. And how do I get rid of multiplication? And we say, hey, the opposite of multiplication is division. And we'll divide both sides by 3. Now remember, 3 divided by 3 is actually 1, not 0. So we put a 1 right there. And we say, hey, you know, x is equal to. And we ask ourselves, can 22 be divided by 3? The answer is no. We ask ourselves, can 22 and 3 be divided by the same number? Once again, the answer is no. And so we're going to leave our answer as 22 over 3. It's reduced as far as it can go. And that is a perfectly fine answer. All right, let's move on to our second example. Okay, for example number two, we have 12 equals 4x plus 8. And let's see here. Uh, what, what do we notice? Well, we see the 4 and the x. We have our multiplication. And we have the plus 8. We have some addition. So let's go ahead and write out PEMDAS. And by the A, we'll put a star for the addition, and by the M, we'll put a star for multiplication. And remember, since we're doing our algebra in the opposite order, we're working from the bottom to the top. And so ask yourself, okay, going from the bottom to the top, what's the first thing I have starred? It's the A for addition. Well, how do we get rid of addition? We have to use subtraction. And so we will subtract 8 from the right, and we will subtract 8 from the left. Now from here, I circle my zero pair, and I see 12 minus 8 is actually 4, is equal to 4x, and I continue on up my arrow until I hit my next starred operation, which is multiplication, and we say, how do we get rid of multiplication? And of course, we know that we use division. Well, 4 over 4 is 1, and so I say, okay, well, x is equal to something, but what is 4 divided by 4? Well, wait, we just said 4 divided by 4 was 1. And so we say x is equal to 1, or 1 equals x, either way. All right, let's move on to our third and final example. Okay, here in example 3, we have 10 minus 3x is equal to 25. And notice I'm already writing out my PEMDAS mnemonic with the arrow going up. And I say, okay, what operations do I have? Now, this is one that's a little confusing for students. Remember, when our number's in front, we look at the sign. And if we don't see a sign, we're assuming it's positive, so that 10 must be addition. And wait a second, 
we have a minus 3x. So is this really subtraction? And the answer here is no, because it's minus 3x. That means that the negative 3 is right beside the x, which means that that is actually our multiplication. So you want to be really, really careful here when looking at it in this order. And so, okay, so going from the bottom to the top, I say, how do I get rid of my addition? And I will subtract 10 from both sides, minus 10, minus 10. And of course, I have my zero pair. And now I drop my minus 3x is equal to 25 minus 10, which is 15. And from here, I say, well, okay, how do I get rid of the minus 3? Well, remember, it's being multiplied with the x, and the opposite of multiplication is division. Of course we keep the sign the same and we divide both sides by negative 3. Now negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1 so I have 1x equals and a positive divided by a negative is a negative and 15 divided by 3 is 5. Alright and our answer or our solution is x equals negative 5. Alright y'all can't wait to see y'all in our level 6 video.